What's up guys, another video from AR Outdoorsman here. Um, I am doing a video on my science fair project. I know, science fair project normally not going to be on an outdoors channel, but my science fair project is about fishing. Uh, do bigger lures produce bigger bass? I know what you're thinking. Most, uh, most of the time when you think of catching big bass, you think of using big lures like big swim baits or something. But I've read a few articles on that that say that they caught some 12 pound bass on the same lures that they caught four, three or four pound bass on. So that got me thinking, do liquor, bigger lures actually, actually produce bigger bass or is that just a myth? So what I did is I went to the big bass pro shops and got me four sets of lures, square bills, uh, deep diving crankbaits, spinner baits, and worms, soft plastics sometimes. I pick uh, brush hogs and baby brush hogs for this because I've had a lot of luck. It's just a confidence thing for me. So, I got my favorite color, which is the most natural, uh, watermelon orange. Uh, to give it like that, kind of like that flake that I really like. I don't know, it's just a confidence thing for me. But I'm going to put the baby brush hog on one rod and another. Uh, the normal brush hogs on one rod and make try and make the exact same cast and retrieve it the exact same way. And if I catch a fish, I'm gonna record its weight and um, on what lure I caught it. I also got the Strike King deep diving crankbaits, crawfish color. Also another confidence thing. Um, and my favorite color of all this. I also got that. Uh, this is the uh, 1.5 shell diving and the 2.5. Then I got the laser eye spinner bait because it's winter and the water jet, it's been pretty warm. It's been in the 70s. So I think the fish are still going to be active but not as active as earlier. And so I can just bounce this off the bottom or something. Um, and I also got a sportsman mount for Christmas. So be looking for uh, cool vids like that. And I tried to uh, record this. It would have been up maybe two days ago. Tried to record it on this. It recorded, but when I uh, put it on my computer to edit, it didn't work because um, the way this thing records is not supported by my computer. So I was going to use this for a bunch of cool other angles, but now I'm just going to have to, you know, let that be. I'm kind of glad I found that out after, well, I mean, before recording a bunch of cool duck hunting videos or something. Well, tell us what kind of videos you want. Hunting, explosions, like shooting like the water bottles with slugs. Go check that video out. I'll leave uh, the link in the description below. Um, if you want fishing videos, if you want unboxing, vlogs, anything, just let us know. Um, now, we'll try and uh, rep out some more videos pretty soon. Uh, I'm actually going to be heading out of town pretty soon and i um, going to go to the Bass Pro Shops up in Memphis. So, give us a like, subscribe, see more footage like this. Um, I'll catch you later. Tight lines, guys. Alright, so I'm just going to show you uh, the size difference. So brush hog and baby brush hog. You can easily pick out which one's which. It's kind of got that flake I really like. Um, here's the deep diving crankbaits. You can obviously tell the way, the bigger one. The square bills. And the spinner baits. This one's a little bit harder to tell. Uh, this is the half ounce. This is the three eighths.